nine out of ten women who have a male best friend has that male some point in time of their friendship. Children's hair. I cut. I no gave. Authority. I gave my kid the haircut. You had no authority. Did you come? Do you have my kids behind us? This for real. The truth of the matter is that if I'm him, it's helping his baby us part. It's helping to take us further. What you gonna do? Um, hey. She wants your uh, black ass to give her a green card, okay? Don't get... No, no, you're not that good. And she's, she's after the green card. No. You're a victim. Nigga, what? Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. Today, I got three videos I'm going to be reacting to. Chinese woman says that they really do not like white guys and that black moms keep it real. And the second video is going to be a couple who goes through a loyalty test, but it starts bringing out the truth in the relationship. And this is coming from an older couple. And the third video is going to be a guy who gets custody of his children, he gives them a haircut, and baby mother decides to say things to irritate him. This is going to be one that you want to watch. And then we also have a lady explaining why women who have male friends are typically the guy that they've slept with before and what guys need to watch out for. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're in Sigma Nation, make sure you leave a comment. Let's get to it. White guys are like, oh, Asian women love white guys. They uh -huh. think that. But it's not the truth. Really? We do like white guys because mm -hmm. they are easy to manipulate. You know, like, like because the white guy, their moms, the white moms are uh -huh. like, you're so smart, my Joni, so smart, so funny, so cute. Oh my God, this girl likes you because he likes you. He likes who you are. This yeah. Chinese girl's like cook and clean for you. Black mom, hey, she wants your uh, black ass to give her a green card, okay? Don't get, no, no, you're not that good. And she's, she's after the green card. And the black guy's like, okay. Why are you so nice to me? You know, they they, they are like, oh, they just, their mom so tell them the truth. Like your mom would be like, uh, well, she maybe she wants a green card. So, okay, so you're saying, <laughs> you're, I've, I've just never heard this before. I'm I've just, never, it's what I'm, I'm thinking. Because the white yeah. guys, they believe in everything. Like, they're like, oh, because I'm awesome. Like, because their mom's like, you are the best. Like, like black moms are like Asian moms. Like, uh, no, you look fat and you, you need to get a job. And uh, okay. she's not dating you for how awesome you are in my basement. She's probably wanting a green card from you. I feel like... Ooh. Okay, what she's trying to say is, Asian women want to be with white guys because white guys are easier to manipulate. And when it comes to black men, they're not easy to manipulate because of their mothers. Their mothers tell them the girls are going to use you. But when it comes to the white guys, the white guys believe that the Asian women just want them for who they are. I absolutely agree with that. And I tell guys all the time, foreign women want to get to the United States no matter what, when, and where. They have cell phones, just like Western women. They're under manipulation, just like Western women. When it comes to a man, the best thing for you to do is get life experiences so you're able to read the snakes in the grass. When we go to the comments, Bambi Bank says, this is the, <clears throat> Bambi Bank says, this facts, basically she's saying a white mom with sugar coat and black moms, Chinese moms and Hispanics moms keep it real as hell, which they do. M Madrilda 87 says, my mom was disowned by majority of her family because she married my dad who was black. They preferred her to marry her own race or a white man. The only family that stays in contact with her siblings is my grandma. Rest in peace. Most of the friends here in the States are married to white men. And these women basically run to the household to keep their husband's paycheck. I absolutely agree. When it comes to love and it comes to marriage in the United States, it's all business. That's why it's best for you to date the same person for a long period of time. That way the relationship gets pressure tested so no one goes to a situation where they're getting their heart broken. With this for real. The truth me? of the matter is that if I'm on? him, it's helping us make us further. It's helping to take us further. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do you gonna stay right with me because you know you want this just like he do, like everybody. I me, they oh. want a piece of this. I'm a project manager, true enough, but there's some things that I can do to secure and make sure I have all the clients that I need to. Did you forget? Did you forget? Get in the of my house. That's what you mean? Yes. That's most did you forget that? Right did you forget that we put that mortgage in my name that you financially responsible for? Did you forget I about that? My transportation come. I don't need your ass. You want him going be with the little? At the end of the day, I got. Let's okay. let's get with this for. 
talk about a loyalty test going wrong. They got tested and she turned around and put the truth on them and let them know that she was using the situation because there's another guy that wants her too. Oh man, things get real when they start doing them loyalty tests. Pan African says, too old for the nonsense. I absolutely agree with you, but people have a tendency to act funny whenever cameras are in the way. Ron73 says, if the marriage, if they're married, then she's nuts. She's confused that she pays for everything and he played himself. So yeah, the mortgage is in her name, but he about to take half the value of the house in divorce court. If that they're at the age now where they're probably not going to get a divorce. They're just going to argue in front of people, go home and act like it didn't even happen. That's typically what these old marriages end up doing in the first place. Kim, can I leave now? Can you please tell me where you cut my children's hair? I you cut, had I no gave, authority. I gave my kids a haircut. You had no authority. Did you cut? Do you have my kids behind us? Did you consult with me? Can, let me peel off. Did you consult with me? Can I leave now? Let's be a man for once. Can I leave? Consult with me. Ma, can you get the police because... Yeah, he's taking my photo because he won't tell me exactly what happened. He has no right to do that. I asked you a simple question. So your mom going to get the police? I don't know. I'm asking you a question. Where did you do this? Earl, they don't Tim, you are really making the kids nervous. Earl, I know my own children ever since. Okay? Ever since what? I know my children. Ever, ever since, since what? Since you abandoned them. I, I abandoned know them, okay? Oh, I thought I left you. No, I'm recording it too just to make sure that we're even Steven, okay? Yeah, I don't so care about no that. no problem. Oh, 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 don't scratch the car. Oh, no, scratch the car. Go ahead. Do whatever you want to do. Come on. Let me hold the train. No, that's their train. I got the train until. Okay, hold on. No, you hold on to that train. Don't let him take that away from you. Nope. Don't let him put the, the train on the car, please. Then Kim. you need to tell me exactly what happened. Oh, see, so you got the boys crying. Well, you took his don't, train. Don't scratch the I car. I didn't take it. Don't Answer scratch the, the car. Question. Get daddy kiss. Get daddy Answer kiss. The question. Can I pick him up, Kim? Put him down. Can I pick the You're kid over up? The time. Let me You're pick the over kid. the time. So I can't pick the kids Let up. Let go. Would you tell me where you did? So I can't pick the kids Can you up. Tell me what you did. They got a haircut, Kim. Where? I'm trying to tell you guys, a bitter baby mother is the worst mother in the world because she's going to drag the hell out of your life. I tell men, if you're happy with your life, you need to make your baby mother's life happy too in order for yours to stay happy. If not, she's going to give you a lot of confusion. If you're in a relationship, you need to be trying to hook your baby mom up with someone else. A bitter baby mom is the fastest way to keep you in depression because they can always use the kids as a crutch. Jathan in the comments says, this is crazy and super duper toxic. This guy won't even answer the question in front of his kids. She's not raising her voice or disrespecting him. They're both of their children. Let's get real. If that man wants to cut his own children hair, he should be allowed to cut his own children hair. That's normally what fathers do. He shouldn't have to answer a simple question as to why did I cut my own child's hair? Um... DJ NC says, N, shut up. You did that to be salty to her. You knew exactly what she was doing. Immature ass little boy shaking my head, grown up and pulled up the phone to record her. I would have too. It's both of their children. He had his children for the weekend. He can cut his children's hair. He can buy them clothes. He can kiss on his son. Why do you feel just because you had the baby, you have full control over the child? That man's trying to be a father. Let him be a father woman and a 21 year old man who has the higher sexual marketplace value the woman 25 year old man and 25 year old woman who has a higher sexual marketplace value the woman again a 30 year old woman and a 30 year old man who has a higher sexual marketplace value the man the 35 year old man and a 35 year old woman who has a higher sexual marketplace value the man and as i keep going in five year increments will women ever overtake a man's sexual marketplace value not in the long term, no. No. Will it grow at a steady rate or will it get exponentially larger? Meaning a 50-year-old man and a 50-year-old woman. Will they have the same difference between them as a 30-year-old man and a 30-year-old woman? Or will it be greater? It'd be greater. Thank you. So by math, you've just said women have roughly a 10-year period before their value dips below men so it doesn't matter if men aren't ready men have a fucking lifetime women got 10 years Woo! <laughs> talk about putting them in place now guys you have to leverage that what do i mean that means between your 20s and 30s stop worrying about the women 
because that's the only time they have to shine. You get to shine in your 30s and up because you have to take the time out to get your life together. The man who does not build himself up in his 20s will suffer in his 30s. The woman that has the most fun in her 20s will suffer in her 30s. You have to understand how life is going to twist around. Normally, you don't learn that till you get older. So while you're younger, take advantage of it. In the comments, we have Miami Lynn says men can experience erectile dysfunctions as early as in their 20s and 30s. I agree. That's if you sit at home and whack off all the time. But if you stay in the gym, you stay working out, you stay eating healthy, trust me, none of this will happen. Erectile defunctions come from guys that are just letting themselves go. Nighthawk92 says, just turned 30, started my business, hit the gym, let's go. I absolutely agree with him. Spokalo says, all the girls I like in high school and college, I won't touch them with a pole. 70% of them are single. Well, at least get some and get you some booty, bro. All these guys be talking about, oh my God, I don't want to touch them because girls got the cooties. I'm sorry, but bro, get you some women. Stop running away from women like they got cooties. Once you gain the power, you don't have to worry about getting hurt. Deal with each other. Yeah, we used to. Yeah. I don't, it nine, to, nine out of ten women. Yeah. And I'm just coming from a woman. Yeah. Nine out of ten women who have a male best friend has that male some point in time of your friendship. Oh. You can say whatever you want to say. Whoa. I am seen, I see it from experience. I am around these women, okay? They, 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 I had a girlfriend who was sleeping with a guy. They find themselves together like twice. And then determined they're better off being friends. So they hang out, you know, they go to bars yeah. together. Da, 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 da. But they before. You I respect you so much. I for understand this. a man be feeling yeah. some type of way about that. Like, yes, they f them. They f them. I don't yes. care. Y'all can lie all y'all want. Yes. Y'all f these. F At least be a woman about your sh and say, yeah, me and him used to mess around. Yeah. And if you really care about the man that you with, leave that n alone. Like, he's Thanks. not, you don't owe him nothing because y'all been friends. Y'all were intimate at one point. That's going to make your current boyfriend feel some type of way. If you care about him, leave that other n alone. Yes. Like, it's still there because if. The longer you keep a relationship with somebody that you've been intimate with, the possibility of y'all being intimate again well, is highly likely. It is still there. That connection is still a there. A lot of girls, a lot of girls that say, well, yeah, we used to deal with each other. Yeah. I agree with her. That's why when women start telling you they have male friends, those are just guys that are waiting to sleep with her or guys that she slept with before, but there's no relationship chemistry. You have to understand women can play both worlds nowadays because they have the mindset of a man which means that they could be in a relationship with a guy to keep from feeling lonely and then they can lust for another man. But once you get in a relationship with a woman, there's really no need for her to have male friends. Male friends are just the guy sleeping with her before or the guy waiting to sleep with her. In the comments, we have the real spectrum says, for all the men out there who keep saying they have female friends they have never slept with because you can't, it wasn't your choice, you got friend zone. I absolutely agree. If you're not the one sleeping with her, you're just the one that got friend zone. Finesse Jazz says, do not agree. My male friends don't touch me. I already decided they were not for me. And that's why I feel comfortable around making them friends. In other words, she got the guys that's over there on the LGB side, which you normally see in these situations. She ain't got no real man in her life. And that's typically what's going on here. Thank you for watching Anthony Spade Reactions. If you want more reaction videos, make sure you click on the links below in the description and watch my other videos. But also check me out on my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, so you can watch more daily vlogs of my personal life. Hasta la vista.